Yeah, RFIC stands for Radio Frequency Integrated Circuits. When you need to send the information or receive information into the air, uh, we may need uh, uh, functions such as uh, amplification or up conversion, down conversion. So uh, RFIC is the implementation of these functions as, uh, as a semiconductor chip. The meaning that we developed the uh, millimeter wave RFIC is that we finally can use the 28 gigahertz or 39 gigahertz for a 5G service. So that is almost 10 times higher frequencies than the current mobile service. Yeah, in 5G communications, we need to use a very wide band. So we need to go very high frequencies to use the, such a very wide band. Uh, meaning that such a high frequencies uh, has a more loss and then we are going to suffer more loss and then we may have a very short distance for communication. So to overcome these problems, then we may need to use a uh, phased array beamforming technique. Then that can send a signal to a, a each device. Um, but we may need a lot more antennas to do this. So that is a uh, beamforming technique. And then we may need to use more than easily like uh, 1,000 antennas to do this. In such a base station implementation, then the very complicated RF circuits need to be very simplified. So we developed the RFIC and uh, made it possible. Yes, first generation was pretty decent by itself, but we just tried to improve the performance a lot better. So the very first thing that we did was that uh, we uh, increased the bandwidth from 0.8 gigahertz to 1.4 gigahertz. That means that we can send more data for the same operation. And the second, we improved the signal quality, so meaning that we reduced the error of the signal. So we may lose less data in the air. And the third, the last one, is that we reduced the size of the chip dramatically, like uh, almost 36% from the original, I mean the first generation size. That means that uh, we have a smaller size chip and the implementation of a base station becomes easier. That is a very uh, good change. First, we use the, uh, one of the recent technology, 28 nanometer uh, CMOS te uh, technology for improvement. So we could get some decent improvement, but that's not all about that. We uh, have improved our design skills and then we could optimize the overall performance very well. Especially power amplifier, that is the uh, end of the transmitter and it needs a very good linearity. So we try to improve the performance a lot using circuit technique, module technique, and then we could finally get very good linearity for uh, transmitting. Now, 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz solutions are ready, but we don't stop here. Uh, we are going further, so we are going to include 24 gigahertz and 47 gigahertz in the near future. If you want to check the technical details, then you may uh, find about them in uh, international conference, RFIC 2019. Samsung presents a couple of technical papers there, so you can check out them.